over those hills like another five minutes and you're at the Croatian border. We're right by the Croatian border basically. And uh, yeah, this is Page. And so I always tell the church when we pray for a revival here, we don't ask God to do something we, he hasn't done before. We just ask him to just wink at this town again because this town was reached by the gospel three or four generations after Paul. You know. So what is actually what we would actually do when there is a family in need? Okay, give us our daily bread. Okay, the, the kids cannot eat, we bring them food. You know, in Matthew 25 it says, if I had, you know, I was naked and you clothed me. So okay, we will give clothes. Um, you know, I was sick and you visited me. You know, if there is a medicine issue, we will actually take the, the prescription. We'll go and you know, we'll buy the medicine. We'll get the receipt, put it into church we're keeping, and then we we'll give the medicine to the family. You know, the heating of you know, like minus 10 degrees Celsius or minus 15 degrees Celsius of a building is just ridiculously expensive. So the saddest thing to see is that these families um, barely paying the winter bills and then don't even have money for food. Not, not, not like nice Christmas celebration food, just food. So Christmas times, Christmas packages are definitely food packages. wondering like who are we to walk into somebody's living room bring a food package and say hey Jesus loves you and hey you know I want to teach you a prayer it's our Father in heaven hallowed be thy name give us our daily bread and I'm like hey and what a privilege that I can be the daily bread provider today and who am I to walk into anybody's life and talk into their life anyway but to call them to repentance and talk to them about talk to them about grace and Anyway, it's just, but we definitely see that God involves us into other people's lives here.